Angel here, so excited about this video. I received a question a couple weeks ago from someone on Instagram and her question was this, how do I guide myself from making bad decisions? And I love this question so much because I couldn't wait to tell you that you're going to make bad decisions. Like that's just a reality. So relax and breathe and be um, okay with the fact that you are gonna make some bad decisions in life. That's just a fact. There is no way to get around making bad decisions. And also too, uh, there is a scripture in the Bible. It's one of my favorite scriptures. And I, I don't know where it is, but I'll look for it and put it here somewhere. But it says that it was good for me that I was afflicted. Like that means like you will get to a place in your life where you'll realize that some of the bad decisions that you've made are some of the best decisions that you've ever made because what you learned out of that quote unquote bad decision. So I just wanna give you three tips on making wise decisions. And I understand, like I, I'm, I know I'm saying that you can't live a life where you don't make any bad decisions, however, you are wise enough to ask, how can I make better decisions for my life? And that's why I love that question. So number one is to ask a lot of questions. You weren't really specific about the decisions that you're talking about, so I'm just gonna speak in general terms. If you're going to buy a car, going to buy a house, or going out on a date, ask a lot of questions. Don't just be that type of person that kind of goes along and gets along and then every decision that you make, you kind of regret it at the end of the day because you didn't really make the decision that was well informed enough. You kind of just said yes and you went with it. So make sure that you ask a lot of questions. The next tip, number two, is something that I got from another life coach. I did not get this and I, I did not make this up. And I tried to find the video where I saw her originally say, her name is Meadow DeVore. If you guys wanna look her up, I actually worked with her years ago around my finances. I love her to pieces. But anyway, she had a video and it was talking about how to make another a similar video about making the best decisions. And one of the things that she says that you wanna think about when you make a decision is how is this going to affect me in 10 minutes, 10 months, or 10 years? And I think that is so crucial. That's such a, an amazing thought process to run through before you make a decision. Like how is this going to affect me in 10 minutes, 10 months, and 10 years? I, I believe that really helps you open up yourself to really be able to make the best decision when you broaden the scope like that. And the last and final tip is, you guys know I had to put this in here because he is just my everything. And it is to simply trust God and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, trust in him and trust that he's going to direct your path. If you remain open to the voice of God and your intuition and you have formed a relationship with your intuition, you know, a lot of people say, I don't know what my intuition is saying. It's because you haven't formed a relationship with your intuition. When you form a relationship with your intuition and with God, you will be more confident to make those better life decisions for yourself and keep all of the negative stuff away from you as far as possible by making those informed decisions. So thank you so much for that question. I loved it, loved it, loved it so, so, so much. And next, I have something amazing that I want to share with you guys that I am like through the roof freaking excited about. And it is my new project. I created a vision journal. You guys know I'm really big on creating vision boards. I was years ago and then I realized that I grew from that space of actually making a vision board. And it's not that I don't, I still have my vision boards. However, the way that I create and manifest is a little bit different than creating vision boards from the way that I used to. And so I put that system in a workbook for you guys and I, and I'm so freaking excited to share this with you guys. This is my actual workbook and it has like my, um, these, uh, huge, what are these called? Uh, paper clips. Are they paper clips? I believe they're paper clips in it to section off, um, different areas in the workbook, but make sure that you guys are subscribed to this video so you don't miss the next video where I'm going to tell you guys all about my life vision journal. I'm so excited. You guys, I love you guys from the bottom to the top and I'll see you in the next video.